Hi, this is Iris Gonzalez, and I will be discussing tornadoes, how tornadoes are formed. Tornadoes are, first of all, they are associated with large supercells or thunderstorms that often grow to over 40,000 feet. A column of warm air, humid air, will begin to rise very quickly. How the column of air begins to rotate is not completely understood by scientists, but one way the rotation appears to happen is when the winds at two different altitudes, one at 25 miles, or excuse me, one at 1,000 and the other at 5,000, begin to cross paths. So let's say, for instance, a wind at 1,000 feet above the surface might blow at 5 miles per hour, and a wind at 5,000 feet below the surface might blow at 25,000 miles. So here's your 25 and here's your 5 miles per hour. This will cause a horizontal rotating column of air. Okay, so now that this is going, the faster this thing moves, the faster the air will start to uh, spin. So if this column gets caught in a supercell updraft in the thunderstorm, the updraft tightens the spin and speeds up, much more like a skater, an ice skating ring, a person ice skating, you know when they go around and around and they like, you know, here we go like this, and then you bring it in, you get tighter and faster, well that's just basically what it's doing. So, that forms a funnel cloud, all right? This is a Kansas girl talking to you. The funnel rotates as it rotates. The rain and hail become, causing the funnel to touch ground. And once it touches the ground, it's called a tornado. You should take speed, or excuse me, you should take cover once you hear the sirens going underneath the basement or in a bathroom, uh, making sure that you have a mattress on top of you so that you will not get hurt. Also, I think you're supposed to leave the windows open. So that is my uh, How Tornadoes Are Formed. I hope you enjoy it and have a wonderful day.